There you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, about Ethan. Please, don't give him this transfer. Don't let him leave Harmony and take my daughter with him. Teresa, I really can't force him to stay here if he doesn't want to. You know, you're head of the company. Come sit. This isn't about my transferring, Ethan. This is about... Gwen wanting to put as much distance between you and her husband as possible. If I refused to transfer Ethan within Crane Industries, I, I could see him breaking his contract and taking a job somewhere else. But what if he can't get a job anywhere else? I mean, I, I'm Mrs. Alistair Crane. I can make that happen. Teresa, would you just listen to me for a moment? Father's health issues have put the, the world markets in a panic. And if Crane Industries goes down... The global economy goes with it. I'm doing everything I can to try to keep this company above water, but I think that we will be in big trouble if we lose Ethan. I can't lose him either, Julian. And my daughter. You know, sometimes, sometimes we get so caught up in the way we want things to be, we forget that we can't control every aspect of our lives. Love doesn't always follow the smoothest path, even though we wish it would. You look at my life with Eve, all the, the difficulties we went through before we wound up together. Well, I, I can't wait over 20 years to be with Eve. No, but that's... I, I'm not saying that. Okay, what are you saying, then? Perhaps it's time for you to move on. No. Think about it, Teresa. Gwen is going to do everything she can to get Ethan out of harmony and away from you. After all these years of chasing Ethan, isn't it perhaps time for you to move on without him? Thank you for the advice, Julian. But I will never give up on Ethan. Never. Julian, Ethan is supposed to be with me, not with Gwen. We're supposed to be a family with our daughter and my son. It's just this, this it's been a fat mess that I've been trying to fix. And if you give Ethan this transfer, I'm not going to be able to fix it. Please, Teresa, would you just take your blinders off and see the situation for what it is? Ethan is married to Gwen. He is not going to leave her. You are married to my father until he either dies or kicks you out. And even if you end up the merry widow, Ethan is not going to break his vows to Gwen. Yes, he will. No! He won't. Things are the way they are, and they're going to stay that way. And we, for God's sake, for your sake, would you accept that and move on with your life? To what, Julian? Being married to your father? You can focus... You can focus on your son, our son. Well, he was supposed to be my son, okay, Ethan. But he, all right, he's not. But does, does that make you love him any less? Of course not. Well, see, then you should count your blessings. You should focus on what you have, mm. not on what you don't. You know, I, I can't do that when it comes to Ethan, Julian. I can't. I, I love him too much to just give up on him. <sighs> Good God. I, I, uh, I'm going to find a way to keep him in harmony. I am. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a way for us to get married the way fate intended us to be. And I'm going to be his wife. If it is the last thing that I do.